Hey everybody, what's going on? This is Buddy Blackford here with another After Effects CS6 After Effects CS6 tutorial. You guys don't know how many times I've messed that up when I'm doing the introduction. But here we're going to talk about the different mask properties and I'll explain the uh, four of them to you and it should be a pretty quick tutorial. So I pulled out my the picture of uh, my cat here and uh, he's wearing a hot dog costume so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take the star tool and I'm just gonna draw a quick mask around him because he is the star so let's, um, let's go about here and um, to open up your uh, masks properties you can either twirl down and here they are mask path feather opacity and expansion or you can press M on the keyboard and then there's also certain um, hotkeys for the different uh, properties that I'll go over with you once we get to them. So the first one I want to go over here um, we went over mass path before in the in our previous tutorial that you use to animate uh, the position of the mask so let's just uh, keep, hit the stopwatch to keyframe and then I can select the uh, mask here, all the points, and move it, and that, that'll that animate the mask for you. So I'll undo that. The mask feather <clears throat> feathers out the edge of the mask, like this. Simple enough. The mask opacity will turn it, the opacity on or off for the mask. So I turned it to zero there. And all these are keyframable. And then the mass expansion uh, expands the alpha around the mask there, as you can see that, like that. So by expanding the alpha, the alpha was just inside the mask here. And I, since I expanded it, it included areas outside of the mask. Now I'll get back to that. So I'm going to go over the hotkeys real quick so you can um, edit your masks quickly. I'll twirl this down. If you just press M, it'll bring up mask path. If you press F, it'll bring up mask feather. There, um, there isn't, there is no shortcut for mask expansion. And then for mask opacity, it's a T T, so twice and it'll bring up mask opacity. Now if you just want to open them all up, you can hit M twice. And it brings up all of them at once. So those are the mask properties. Pretty simple. Um, if you click on the shape button here, you can uh, edit your mask shape a little differently and uh, the bounding box and all that stuff. Change it to a rectangle. Watch stuff like that so that's another thing that I needed to show you other than that the uh, properties are pretty basic and I'll just keep this tutorial pretty short and um, just use your hotkeys to get get around quickly I mean I'm always saying that but it's something that I learned that helps out a lot in the studio and helps you stand out to get if you're faster than everybody else so see you in the next tutorial where we'll talk a little bit more about masking again